Hello friends, this is Michael Lindsay with the Christian Construction Podcast and this is today's Daily Devotion. We're closing out this thought this week on controlling your thought life out of Philippians chapter 4 and we, we spoke about uh, recognizing that our joy is from the Lord. We spoke about remembering that the Lord is near. We've talked about refusing to worry and then we talked on yesterday about, um, about requesting of the Lord. But today... I want to talk to you about probably the sin that that me and my whole generation and, and, and more than likely you at times have been guilty of, and that is the sin of ingratitude. Paul tells us in Philippians 4 verse 6, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. If we would respond with a thankful spirit to the things that go on in our life, I wonder what God would do to help us. You know, all through the scripture we find that when people are thankful that God does things in those times that He doesn't do otherwise. I'm reminded in the book of Jonah, my pastor uses these illustrations. In the book of Jonah, as Jonah is there in the belly of the well, he is praying and in one verse he he thanks God. He thanks God that God has been there for him. The very next verse, Jonah is out on dry ground. We read through the scripture that Solomon, after they built the temple, they were praying and they were, they were going through the rituals of worship, but it wasn't until that they began to thank God that God showed up on the scene in such a fashion that they could not even stand to minister. There's the Syrophoenician woman who comes to the Lord on behalf of her daughter, and she's in a really bad way and she needs help. She, is, she tries to be uh, there at the feet of the Lord. The disciples try to run her off. Jesus says... Uh, he calls her a dog, and he's not going to help her. And then, and then she says, "Yea, Lord, but even the dogs desire the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And she began to worship him. She began to be thankful to him, even though he had not done anything for her. But it was after she was thankful that God began to work in her life and heal her daughter. All of these are perfect examples of the spirit and the attitude that you and I should have. So many times we're, we complain about things. We, we would complain about uh, the cost of a college education. But there are moms and dads, there are families that wish their children uh, were not rebellious. They wish that their children were doing well and going to college. There are, there are those who complain about having to wash dirty dishes. But there are people in other countries who wish they had dirty dishes because that means that they would have had something to eat that day. So friend, before we complain, let's be thankful. And if we're going to have the right mentality and the right mindset in these days that we're living in, it'll be because we remembered, it'll be because we realized, it'll be because we refused to worry, it'll be because we requested of the Lord, but it'll be because we responded with a thankful spirit. We hope these have been a blessing to you. We hope you'll continue to tune in on the Christian Construction Podcast and the episodes that air every Friday at noon.